Binance CEO CZ confirmed XRP is the next Bitcoin. XRP price prediction. We all know that the future of cryptocurrencies is something unpredictable. Due to the numerous factors affecting the future of a coin, it is difficult to forecast or pinpoint exactly where a coin will go. Despite this, it is possible to predict the future of some coins based on their fundamentals. Among these coins is Ripple, XRP, whose future is very promising. Even the CEO of Binance is optimistic. And who knows, it might even become the next Bitcoin that we were looking for. So, welcome back to the channel, where as usual we demystify crypto and present it to you in a simple format. Today, it will be all about the fact that the Binance CEO, CZ, who just confirmed that XRP is the next Bitcoin. Also, stay tuned for a price prediction of XRP in this video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video. As you are probably already aware, the token XRP, also known by its cryptocurrency name, Ripple, was first released in 2012. Although this is pretty well known, I often get comments from people that confuse XRP with Ripple. So, for them, XRP is somewhat similar to Ethereum, with the tag Ripple being used to describe its payment network as well as its native currency. The network is called RippleNet, but the cryptocurrency is called Ripple XRP. Ripple, originally conceptualized by Ryan Fugger in 2004, became real when Jed McCaleb and Chris Larson took over in 2012. Moreover, Ripple XRP also operates a digital payment network called RippleNet, which is based on the XRP Ledger distributed database. Think of RippleNet as the network that uses the XRP Ledger for all internal transactions, and XRP serves as the token to facilitate those transactions. Furthermore, despite the XRP Ledger is open source, it is not based on a blockchain, but rather on a database of ledgers. I know, you may be wondering, but what makes it so special? Well, XRP does not operate on a blockchain, which makes it rather different from other cryptocurrencies. Instead, it uses Ripple Protocol consensus algorithms, RSPCAs, to verify transactions on the network. In the sense that there has to be a consensus to verify transactions on the network, its work is similar to a blockchain. Therefore, XRP could be considered a centralized cryptocurrency. In contrast to Bitcoin, the father of cryptocurrency, XRP operates on a rather different level. Because its parent company, Ripple, controls it, its services are sold to banks, which is not the case with Bitcoin. XRP is also notable for the fact that it is not minted. Although XRP only has a limited supply of currency, it is not created by miners, like other cryptocurrencies. Rather, again, it is issued by the parent company, Ripple. So when the company was first launched, 100 billion coins were created. But today, less than half of that number is in circulation. And as part of its escrow process, Ripple periodically releases XRP coins. Now that we have that completed, let's look at XRP's price history in the 10 years since its launch. XRP has seen some wildly fluctuating prices, and that's putting it mildly. In essence, until 2017, the price barely made it above $0.01. However, towards March and April of that year, the price began to rise exponentially. And around the end of April, the price increased to an exorbitant $0.05 per unit. Additionally, the good news doesn't end there, because as the days went by, towards the end of May, the price increased to $0.25. It then retracted somewhat in the months that followed, and then skyrocketed as 2017 ended and 2018 began. As those of you with keen eyes will recall, this was also true for several other cryptocurrencies during this period, with Bitcoin peaking at an impressive rate of $20,000 at one point. Bitcoin, however, continued to decline after that. On the other hand, XRP peaked on the 4th of January 2018 at $3.84, a very impressive rate indeed. And just two weeks following, XRP's value dropped by more than half. So, at the beginning of 2019, the price reached $0.30 and soared to nearly $0.70 by the end of 2020. Unfortunately, however, it crashed because of the uncertainty over the SEC lawsuit. It seems like XRP has been beaten down quite often, and its price has taken a roller coaster ride, at the very least. Even so, the price has, since then, stabilized somewhat and is currently hovering at $0.79 at the time of this film. Now, despite Ripple's current meager price value, many of its holders continue to hold on to the coin, anticipating prices that many would consider too fantastic to ever be possible. This is due in part to XRP's technology which facilitates quick and small financial transactions. And aside from its scalability, it is also capable of processing over 1500 transactions per second. 
So this makes it 1,000 times faster than Bitcoin. Also, according to reports, TechCrunch founder Michael Arrington demonstrated this in October 2018 by sending $50 million in XRP in about two seconds for only 30 cents. That is, without a doubt, quite impressive. Evidently, many multinational banks and financial institutions like JP Morgan, Santander, and the Bank of America have long been using XRP. In fact, in June 2019, Ripple and MoneyGram signed an agreement, which meant only one thing – XRP is going places. Additionally, XRP also ensures that the company can be invested in as well as its currency, making it an extremely attractive investment. And having over 5,000 employees across marketing, technology and support, Ripple has ensured that investing in XRP means also investing in the growth of the company. Fundamentals like these have led many crypto experts and XRP believers to predict price ranges of $589, for reasons I have touched on previously. However, it is not all sunshine and rainbows for XRP, since when the SEC filed its first lawsuit against Ripple's two executives for selling unregistered securities, the price of XRP dropped to its lowest level ever. And as a result of the lawsuit, investors and the company are both thrown into a selling frenzy. Many feared that as the lawsuit dragged on, XRP would miss out on the major bull run experienced by many of the important cryptocurrencies. Despite the SEC trial, XRP outperformed its December 2017 best, which shocked many analysts. But it's not surprising either, since previously, Binance's CEO, CZ, spoke out about his opinion of XRP. On his Twitter account, CZ announced that the court case may take years and that if XRP was deemed a security, it would seriously harm a lot of US users, as well as other users around the world. He even mentioned, it certainly doesn't look like a security to me, but that's just one person's opinion. So, it seems that Chang Peng Zhao, like many others, does not believe that XRP is a security. In fact, many of these securities associations have been created by disgruntled investors with an excerpt who have stated that XRP is not a security and even provided evidence to support their claim. Thus, XRP's growth shouldn't slow down anytime soon, as people like CZ are backing it up. However, the big question remains, just where is XRP going? To the moon or bust? Based on recent price developments and positive SEC lawsuit rulings, analysts believe that XRP will explode, including Peter Brandt, who predicts XRP will explode in the coming months. On the other hand, when it comes to long-term forecasts, many analysts diverge widely. According to some observers, the price of XRP could reach $200 to $300 by 2030 if it continues on its path to wider adoption. While other predictions aren't as optimistic, they vary between $20 and $17, and some refuse to give a specific amount, saying they predict it to increase beyond $5. Considering that clairvoyance is still considered a primitive science and the future is as unreliable as rain on a summer night, nobody can be certain of their predictions. Additionally, there are a few factors that influence the future price of XRP. According to analysts of the cryptocurrency industry, there are a couple of factors that influence XRP's price, as well as other cryptocurrencies. Nevertheless, when Binance's CEO, CZ, appears to be on the side of XRP, it's pretty evident that there could be a new generation of Bitcoin. We'll save that discussion for another day. But before I end this video, please note that this video is not financial advice, and who am I to say how you should spend your money? Also, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and let's have a discussion. If you found the video interesting, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you are new here, subscribe and click the bell icon. This way, you will be notified of all the future videos from us, including upcoming XRP news. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.